Okay. Let's start class today, laying down, finding your way to your mat when you're ready, bringing along some extra cozy props, like a pillow or blanket if you so choose. I like a blanket under my head or under my knees, but depending on your space, maybe you have a blanket up over top of yourself or somewhere else. Maybe finding Shavasana, classic relaxation pose with your arms and legs outstretched. Maybe you find your way to constructive rest pose with your knees bent and your feet standing at the edges of your mat with your knees falling together at the center. Let your arms find their way wherever they want to be today. And as always, you are welcome to continue experimenting and exploring until you land somewhere comfortable and restful. And as you arrive in that place, just letting the back of your body greet the floor. Just really tune in to those points of contact between your body and the floor and just see what's there. See what's going on. How much pressure is pressing down. Which parts are lifted up off of the floor, which parts are firmly grounded onto the floor. Take any adjustments along the way. I think there's something very special and important about taking the time to find physical comfort when you can. And then imagining some kind of root system or mycelium type of growth or something, as if your body had these roots or mycelium growing down, down into the earth from wherever, maybe the whole backside of your body, maybe just the points of contact from the that are touching the floor. Just imagining these roots growing deeper and deeper through your floor, through any subfloors or basements beneath you, down through the dirt and the layers of the mycelium network, whatever else might be beneath you, maybe some kind of pipes or electrical, just continue to trust that your roots will find a way to continue on deeper and deeper. And when you sense that your roots have gone deep enough, let it be enough for now. As you inhale, imagine that the earth is sending you perfectly tuned energy for your day to day. Anything that you may feel known or unknown that you're lacking, just imagining and trusting that the, this earth energy can come up and help in the ways you need. So taking an inhale, feeling this energy rise through these roots all the way up into your body and with your exhales as if you're kind of circulating that energy moving any stagnant energy or dense or negative energy that you are through with for now just imagining that can get sent right back down through your roots where the earth will safely discharge any of that negativity darkness stagnation without any harm done to the earth or beyond. 
inhaling, feeling this earth energy rise up, helping you to feel grounded and at home on earth. Exhaling as you let the earth help you resolve and release and move any of that stagnant energy. And just a little bit of time here playing with this grounding exercise. You may also choose with your exhales to send messages to the earth, send healing energy to the earth, send your thanks. Creating kind of this circuit of reciprocal energy here. Breathing in as you accept. Breathing out as you give or circulate. And a few last breaths with this connection. And in your own timing and in your own way, just again, giving thanks to the earth, imagining or sensing these roots kind of slowly coming back up kind of retracting back into your body. And then we'll take three clearing breaths, inhaling through your nose, sigh or blow out of your mouth. Again, two more times like that, go ahead. And then we'll start to wiggle fingers and toes. Maybe let your head kind of roll from one side to the other. And heading into a long body stretch, reaching arms and legs in opposite directions with a little bit of circling of your ankles and your wrists, if that feels welcome to you. And let's rub the palms of our hands together, create some nice heat and friction between your palms. And then place one hand over your heart center and the other hand just kind of over top. Maybe your fingers interlace, maybe your thumbs interlace. Just kind of use your intuition as you lay your hands somewhere around heart center. Just let the warmth from your palms sink in. And consider this kind of like a heart hug, if you will. And as you are here in this sacred heart space, just have a little listen. Is there a longing in your heart or a sankalpa, a deepest desire or intention that you'd like to name. And maybe that sounds a little complicated, maybe not, but consider maybe a word or a phrase or a feeling that you might tend to or focus on throughout this class or beyond, sometimes choosing a sankalpa or an intention is meant to be more of like a life mission. So if you already have one, maybe bringing that, calling that up, bringing that to mind. 
So that feels like too much pressure for the moment. So maybe kind of setting that aside and maybe journaling about it or considering your deepest heart desire at another time. For now, perhaps just choosing to be present. Let's take one more clearing breath, inhaling through your nose. Sigh through your mouth and let your arms go wide. So we're just kind of in this wide arm, almost like kind of surrender type of position. And again, wiggling your fingers and toes and then starting to turn on to either side, finding the fetal position here for a moment. And then press your way up to a comfortable seat. If you like to sit up on top of a blanket or pillow or blocks, of course, taking your time to get that in place. I'm going to sit on a blanket today as I cross my legs. And then we'll tend to the fingertips off to the side. And just think about lengthening up through your spine. So we're finding this really tall feeling position, but make sure it's not too rigid, just relaxing, maybe 5%. Option to close your eyes if you like to feel this posture from an internal perspective. See what it feels like to kind of hug your shoulder blades lightly together behind you. This can be such a nice meditative position can kind of remind you of your power, of this sense of balance and groundedness through the fingertips. When you're ready, let's inhale and take your time as you reach your arms around and up, like you're just savoring it all until you get to the top, hands touch at the top. And with your exhale, bring your hands down to heart center with a little tuck of your chin down toward the center of your chest. Take a breath in here, just pausing. With your next inhale, reach both hands high. Option to look up. And exhale, reaching around and down. We'll do that a few times with your inhale, reaching back up, joining palms. And exhale to bring hands to heart center. Take a full round of breath here at the center. And then inhale back up, exhale around and down. Nice. Okay, let's take a twist toward the right. So the left hand comes to your right knee. You can use that right hand somewhere behind you to help you sit up nice and tall. So thinking about length again here first, take a breath in. And with your exhale, gently twisting toward the right. With your inhale, unwind enough for your full breath in. Exhale, twist toward the right. One more time. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, twist. Switch sides. The right hand comes to the left knee. Left hand on the floor behind you to help you sit up nice and tall. Take a breath in as you find length. And exhale as you twist and look slightly over that left shoulder. Inhale, unwind a little bit, full breath in. Exhale, twist. One last time, inhale. Exhale, twist. Good, coming back to center. If you're sitting up on something, you might want to move that to the side for now. We'll straighten the legs out, kind of at a V. Doesn't have to be as wide as you possibly can, just kind of like a gentle V will do. And we will bend the left knee. If your left foot reaches the right thigh, fine. Doesn't have to. Just wherever your knee bends and rests. Press your right hand into your right thigh, or sorry, right calf, or wherever you can comfortably reach. And then open that left arm up toward the sky. So we kind of have this upward twist going first. And then we'll move into a side bend. So reach that left arm up and overhead, just as if the left hand is reaching in the direction of the right foot. Of course, it doesn't have to even get close to touching the foot, just reach in that direction. Think about opening that armpit up toward the sky and 
feel into the lower left side of your back, the QL, this really important part of the body that can, uh, when we stretch it out, can help with lower back pain. If you've been sitting for too long, sometimes this is just what is needed, I find. With an inhale, start to come back up. And we'll turn the heart toward the right foot. And we'll take a little forward fold. So just sliding your hands down that right leg. See if you can kind of reach your heart toward uh, your knee. You can even bend that right knee a little bit here if you want to, uh, for some reason, reach your foot. Sometimes it feels kind of nice to have something to hold on to. So you can reach down for your foot, maybe reaching for your calf. We're just taking a nice little forward fold toward that right foot. With an inhale, halfway lift here, just kind of lengthening your spine. With your exhale, one more time, folding toward that right foot. Take another breath in and out here before moving on. And then as you're ready, coming back up, we'll switch feet. So straightening that left leg, bending that right knee. Press your left hand into your left knee or calf as you open that right arm way up toward the sky. Pausing here, maybe noticing a little opening or stretching through that left inner thigh here first before we side bend. And then as you're ready, just reaching that right arm up and overhead in the direction of that left foot. And thinking about opening that right armpit up toward the sky. And targeting a little side bend, stretchy, feeling through that right side of the low back now. One more breath. And then coming back up, we will turn the heart toward the left foot. And then slide your hand down that left leg, just finding a comfortable forward fold toward that left side. At some point, take an inhale and kind of halfway lift, like lengthening through your spine. And then with your exhale, folding back toward the left leg. One last breath in and out. And then come back up. All right, let's move along to hands and knees. So sweeping your legs around and back. You can always grab some extra cushion for underneath your knees or a little extra height underneath your hands with your blocks. Always finding ways to make it suited to you today. So we are spreading the fingertips out with the hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips with your inhale, starting to lower your belly, lift your gaze and your tailbone, cow pose. Exhale, round up through your spine, cat pose. We're tucking the tailbone and the chin and pressing into the hands. Inhale, cow pose. Gaze lifts, belly lowers. Exhale, cat. Keep flowing with your breath here. Feel free to add on any little organic or interesting movements that just come to mind. You can add a little wiggle or a twist to the shoulders or the hips. Maybe reaching your seat back toward your heels. There's just so many ways to make it your own. We're inhaling to cow. We're exhaling to cat. When you're ready to move along, let's find our way to extended child's pose with the knees out wide and the big toes touching. Maybe sinking your seat toward your heels or keeping your seat lifted if that feels better on your knees. Either way, maybe coming down to the forearms, maybe reaching your hands out toward the top of the mat and then sinking your head and heart down toward the floor. Take a few rounds of diaphragmatic breath here, letting your belly expand with your inhales. 
Soften with your exhales. Take about three more breaths, just like that. And when you're ready, start to come on up, table top. Uh, we'll find a little back bend here. If it feels okay for you to sit on your heels, you could come back and sit on your heels. For a lot of people, it's going to feel like too much. So you might grab a big pillow or a blanket to put between your knees so you have a little bit more height. Alternatively, you could sit on a block if you like. This is called Thunderbolt or Hero's Pose. We'll have the palms face up in our lap and shoulder blades kind of hugging back behind you just sitting here for a moment inhaling and exhaling now you're welcome to start moving into our um camel pose back bend from the, a kneeling position like this if so you just bring your hands behind you to uh the mat or to some blocks uh, your hands can be facing any which direction you'd like and just kind of think about puffing your chest up it's our first option. Another option is going to be to rise up and kind of like stand up on your knees and then come into camel pose. I like to kind of curl my toes under here so my heels are lifted up a bit more. We'll place the hands on the low back or even lower, kind of like between the low back and the glutes. Kind of press your hips forward. And uh, this could already feel like enough of a back bend for a lot of people, so feel free to stay here. If you want to continue on, keep puffing your chest up, maybe looking up toward the sky. I like to just keep my hands at my low back, but if you have a lot of back bending capabilities and you have safely performed camel before, you might bring one hand down to each heel um, and be in this nice big heart opener. Again, I really like to just keep my hands at my low back. One more breath in. With your breath out, tuck your chin toward your chest and come back down to our hero's pose sitting on your heels. It's common to feel a little bit lightheaded after that back bend, so just kind of recovering as long as you need to. Then we're gonna find our way to our first downward facing dog, but take your sweet time as you make your way in that direction. Grabbing your blocks, if you like to use those, bring those up to the top of the mat. I'm feeling like straightening both my legs individually here before moving along. So if that feels like you, just straighten one leg behind you. Maybe moving forward and back a little bit here as we straighten the legs for the first time in a hot minute here. Switching legs if you'd like when you're ready straightening the other leg out behind you maybe kind of going forward and back a little bit as you stretch out your calf and then when you're ready find your way to your downward dog curling the toes under reaching the tailbone way up toward the sky press into your hands all of your fingertips especially that space between the thumb and the pointer finger find your breath breathe in and out maybe pedal your legs out bending and straightening opposite knees maybe lifting and lowering the heels at the same time and then we'll bend deeply into the knees this is almost called bear it's like bear pose when your knees are kind of hovering off of the floor and then step your way on up toward the top of your mat for rag doll forward fold knees at least a little bit bent if not a lot bent sometimes it's nice to just have your blocks for your hands either way we're letting the upper body be kind of loose here maybe you find a little bit of a swaying motion 
Maybe you play with a little halfway lift and then a ragdoll fold again. You can always, always add on anything that seems interesting in the moment. Like don't fight the impulse to try a little something extra if that seems interesting to you. We do not need our yoga practices to be sterile and perfectionistic or performative. We gotta make them kind of fluid and playful and experimental however we choose. And when you're ready, bending your knees a little deeper, use your hands to help your way on up, just walking your hands up your legs as you slowly rise. When you do get to the top, just get a little bit of a wiggle or a shake or a bounce going through your body. Uh, maybe lifting and lowering your heels. I'm just kind of letting that gravity kind of move your body, kind of shake the body a little bit here. Maybe you can feel some of your muscles or um, body parts kind of shaking a little bit here. You can shake your arms, your hands, your feet, just whatever comes to mind. We're freestyling now. A little bit of a shake or a bounce or a wiggle or whatever it takes to get your circulation going here. So good <laughs> to wiggle or dance like once a day, I would say. <laughs> Okay, we're coming up to the top of the mat if you're not already there. Take a look down at your feet. Um, spin the palms to face the front of your space with a little bit of engagement between your shoulder blades. But also think about letting your shoulders kind of like melt downward in your back. So we're hugging the shoulder blades together and lowering the shoulder blades down. Go ahead and close your eyes if you like and just feel mountain pose from this internal viewpoint again. Notice if you're over efforting somewhere, sometimes we like clench the glutes or the legs or the jaw. Just see about finding a balance here. Just enough effort to feel stable and strong and mighty, but not too much effort that you feel rigid. Okay, with an inhale, reach both hands up and overhead, looking up if you'd like. With your exhale, baby back bend, we're squeezing the glutes, bending elbows, looking up, baby back bend. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down to the floor or to blocks. We'll step just the right foot back and lower the right knee down to the mat. With an inhale, reach both hands high. Exhale, open arm twist toward the left. Stay here for a breath in. Option to reach your hands up and overhead, still in your twist. Really adds a little bit of balance here. And exhale, arms reaching wide. We'll have one more breath like that. Option to reach up. Exhale, reaching out. Wow, really takes a lot of balance. Okay, <laughs> inhale, come back to the center. With your exhale, open arm twist to the other direction. If you'd like, inhale, reach those hands up. Exhale, reach them back out. <laughs> Staying on the right side this time. One more breath in, reaching the hands up. One more breath out. Lower your hands down to your blocks or the floor on either side of that left foot. Curl your right toes under. Pick up that right knee. Step your left foot back to your high plank. Shoulders over wrists. One big breath in. Exhale, lower your knees and then lower your chest all the way down. Today we will do half locust pose, working on our back bends today. So we'll reach those hands down by your sides, arms are straight. Find a comfortable distance between your feet and then press the tops of your feet down so much that those knees start popping up. Our glutes and our thighs start doing a little work here. And the reason we engage glutes during back bends is it helps to protect your low back. 
So really make sure that's key in your position there. With your inhale, start to lift your upper body and squeeze a giant imaginary beach ball behind your back here. So palms are facing together, shoulder blades hugging together and down your back. We'll stay here for three breaths. We're exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. One last breath using effort here. Exhale, lower on down to crocodile pose, stacking your hands or your fists underneath your forehead. Rest your forehead on top. Let your heels splay out to the sides. Consider kind of wiggling or wobbling the hips side to side to just kind of loosen up your low back for a moment. Transitioning away from that super effort moment here, seeing how quickly you can come back to a balanced, kind of relaxed place. Take a clearing breath when you're ready, inhaling through your nose. And sighing to release. Planting your hands next to your chest, rise on up to tabletop, and then back to your child's pose. Knees can be a little closer together if you like. Maybe you tent your fingertips up and reach through the side body and shoulders. Maybe you keep it classic with the palms down. One more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale, rise up, tabletop. And exhale to downward dog. Three breaths when you get there. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath in. Last breath out. Inhale, bend your knees, look up toward the top of your mat. Exhale, step the right foot forward first, and then your left to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, gently bending your knees. Press your feet down into the floor. Inhale, rise up, sweeping those arms around and up overhead, joining your hands at the top. And exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Another homecoming to this heart space here. Maybe closing your eyes in reverence. Maybe feeling for your heartbeat or just kind of sensing into this, this heart centered space heart chakra, anahata chakra, is said to be like a lime green or a pink. So perhaps imagining a little bit of pink or lime green where the thumbs touch the sternum. Remembering that sankalpa or intention if you set one today, if you have one in your heart. Let's take a clearing breath. Inhale through your nose. Sigh it out. Inhale, sweep your arms down, around, and up. Exhale, baby back bend. Squeeze those glutes, cactus arms. Inhale, reach back high. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down to the floor or blocks. This time we're stepping just the left foot back and lower that knee down. If your knee feels sore at all or it was on the other side, go ahead and bring some extra cushion underneath your left knee just as a little treat. <laughs> when you're ready, take a big inhale as you reach the hands up and overhead, making sure you're comfortable. Exhale, open arm twist toward the right. 
feel your core nice and steady here. That left hand is reaching forward. The right hand is reaching back. You can always bring a hand down to your knee if that helps you stay in your twist. Option here to inhale and reach those hands up. Keeping your core engaged will help you stay balanced. And then exhale, opening those arms back out. So we're staying twisted that whole time. One more time. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, open arm twist. Ooh. <laughs> Inhale, unwind, come back to the center, arms lifting high. Exhale, open arm twist toward the left. Again, we have the option to inhale and reach those hands up and overhead. Exhale, expanding out in either direction. One more time, inhale, reaching high. And then exhale, unwinding and bringing those hands down to your blocks or the floor. Let's curl that left foot under, maybe move your prop out of the way, and then step that right foot back to your high plank. Go ahead and just find your way. We'll just have one big breath here. And then with your exhale, lower your knees, lower your torso all the way to the floor. Okay, let's do one more round of our half locust pose today bringing those arms straight down by your sides pressing your feet tops of your feet down into the mat activating your glutes and your quads with your inhale <clears throat> rising up through the upper body squeeze that imaginary beach ball behind your back letting those shoulders come down and back together behind you we're taking three breaths we're probably already one deep let's take another breath in and out, keep pressing your feet down. One more breath in, use that effort. Feel your warmth and strength. And then exhale, lower down, crocodile pose, letting your heels play out to the sides. Soften on up. It's kind of a good um, Kind of practice for the nervous system for our muscles going from like a super engaged strengthening state to a nice soft place just kind of practice for when those stressful moments in life come up hopefully hopefully this type of thing kind of helps us come back to baseline a little quicker One more breath and let it be just so soothing. When you're ready, plant those hands next to your chest and press your way up to tabletop. And then with an exhale, floating on back to child's pose, your favorite variation. Three breaths here. With an inhale, rise on up, tabletop. You can always bypass downward dog if you want to by taking a couple rounds of cat and cow. If you want one last downward dog, come along with me for three breaths, curling those toes under, reaching that tailbone high. Big breath in and out. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath in. Last breath out. Inhale, bend your knees, look up toward your hands. Exhale, step or walk your feet behind those blocks or hands, rag or forward fold at the top rather. With an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, reaching those hands around and then overhead, join palms at the top. Exhale, back to heart center. Come on back, heart center, maybe closing your eyes when you arrive. Consider the state of balance in your body. Consider the flow and pace of your breath. 
Consider the energy that you are exuding in your space. And take a clearing breath in through your nose. Sigh it out. Go ahead and blink your eyes open when you're ready. We're going to do a little bit of balancing next, um, but we're starting with a brain teaser. Some of you have, who've been coming to classes have seen this one before. I'm going to come up close so you can see me. Um, this will be our um, shoot the thumb. Oops, there we go. So we have one thumbs up. The other hand just has the pointer finger pointing toward that thumb. So easy enough for now. And then we'll switch. So pointer and thumb. Other hand has the thumb up. Other hand has pointer. And we're just going to try to go back and forth. And it's sort of meant to be, you know, a brain teaser. So it may not come right away, but that's okay. Just continue to go slow and see if you can eventually get a little faster, maybe. Oh. <laughs> okay, you're welcome to stick with this one or try uh, one more that I've not yet mastered, um, which is going to be <laughs> having your hands, like you're about to do like a pull up or is this a chin up? I forget, but your uh, hands kind of in a fist. And so one of your hands is going to have the thumb pointing out. The other hand is going to have the pinky. So you're pointing in the same direction, just one with the pinky, one with the thumb. And then try to switch directions. <laughs> I have not mastered this one yet. But go ahead, give it a try a couple times. So you're just kind of pointing in the same direction. It's really good. This bilateral um, movement is good for the brain. There we go. Okay, shake it out when you're ready to move along. Shake, shake, shake. And then we'll do a little balancing here. And today will be a kind of play on uh, one-legged mountain pose um, and hand-to-foot pose. So bringing your feet out to a comfortable distance. Let's shift the weight over to that right foot and start to find your version of one-legged mountain with that left knee lifting some amount. Maybe the toe can stay down at first. Um, if you're a toe down, person today, I would invite you to come close to a wall so that maybe you could bring that knee up to about hip height. Your choice. And then we're going to grab holds. You could hold underneath the thigh or hold that knee or shin, that left leg. And maybe you lean back against a wall or one of your hands hold on to a wall for support. This is a good stopping point if you'd like. Our deeper venture today would be to reach down to grab the big toe of that left foot. Again, maybe the hand on the wall. <laughs> um, choose your own adventure. If you'd like, we're opening that left leg out toward the side wall and then maybe starting to straighten that left leg. I'm coming to the wall, that's for sure. You can certainly just stay holding that left toe, which is plenty of work. Go ahead and play a little bit here, maybe reaching that left hand high, maybe holding onto your left knee instead. You can, um, you know, find your way. Just we're balancing on that right foot. That's our main goal. Taking maybe about one or two more breaths. And then when you're ready, letting go of that knee, let it come down to the floor. Shake out your standing leg and anything else that wants to move. And then we're switching sides. So all the weight coming to your left foot. I already know I'm gonna want the wall, so I'm just gonna come over to the wall to hold on now. Find your one-legged mountain pose with that left knee lifting some amount. You can also bring your or sorry, that right knee is lifting this time. You can also bring your right knee out toward the side. Lots of options here as we start to balance on that left foot. If you're ready for it, maybe we scoop and interlace the fingers behind the right thigh. 
or in front of that right knee. Ooh. Making sure that wall is close by if you want to use that. You could open that right knee out toward the side and just continue to hold right here. Or for our deep adventure today, maybe reaching down to grab onto that right big toe. Standing right here is plenty challenging. If you want, maybe trying to extend that right leg out, but just be careful. We don't need to go too far. Just an option. All right, find an unmoving focal point to help with your concentration and balance here. Let's take about two more breaths. When you're ready, let that right leg find the floor. Shake it out. Ooh. Lots of work. Good job, everyone. Let's uh, come on down to the floor. So however you like to get there, maybe a little forward fold or a little squat for a second. Just meandering, moseying on down to the floor. We're going to take those knees in with us and then take a little bit of free movement, rocking some weight around the low back and the sacrum and the glutes and the hips. So we're just kind of holding onto the knees and maybe circling them around or swaying side to side. I invite you to consider closing your eyes here so you're really focused inward on that pressure and that movement. Just learning what happens when you pull your knees closer to your body and when you let them go a little farther away. Just getting curious into what's possible here. <clears throat> and then if there are any last poses, movements, or stretches that your body is asking you for, go ahead and move through and with those poses and movements now, maybe a, another twist or a um, opening of the arms or a, another flowing breath. <laughs> so many different options to choose here. So just find your way, find your way. Eventually arriving in your favorite relaxation pose, maybe constructive rest with your knees bent and your feet standing up at the edges of your mats. Maybe Shavasana with your arms and legs outstretched, taking up all the space you want. And maybe one more sighing breath when you get there. <sighs> and then we'll do um, one quick piece of breath work that will send us into our um, Shavasana meditation, your final rest. So, um, Sometimes uh, brahmari pranayama or bumblebee breath, sometimes it's done uh, using your hands to cover different parts of your face. Um, it's meant to turn our senses kind of inward and off. Um, I'm gonna offer up just one portion of this. So it's kind of a modified brahmari pranayama where you just plug your ears gently. So you could press in on the, the tragus, that little kind of fleshy part on the outside of your ear, or you can just stick your fingers kind of in your ear, just however you'd like to plug your ears in a moment here. So our bumblebee breath is quite simple. We just take a big breath in and then we hum for the entirety of your exhale. And you can hum any note. Maybe the note moves a little bit. Maybe it's just one consistent um, note that just comes out. And then when you're done with your exhale, we'll just take another breath in, hum the, for the entirety of the exhale. So let's do that for three rounds. So just go at your own pace here. I won't be cueing. I will just be humming. 
<laughs> so go ahead and plug your ears if you like and three rounds inhaling through your nose and then humming it out mm. Whenever you have completed your breaths, just let your hands rest, let your arms rest, just kind of notice any responses from that breath work. It's meant to kind of calm and clear. We'll just kind of rest in the reverberations of our Brahmari Pranayama for the next couple minutes here. And if you'd like to stay and continue resting, please, please feel welcome to do so. Keep resting until you're ready to move along. And when that moment comes, you might gently reawaken the physical body with some finger and toe wiggling. Maybe a little turn of the head side to side, or a yawn, or a swallow. Maybe a long body stretch. Eventually choose a side to roll onto, finding the fetal position for one more full round of breath. Just fully here in this transition moment. And eventually pressing your way up to a comfortable seat. We'll join the hands in front of the heart center once more. And feel free to join me as we chant or sing or say or listen to our closing home Shanti, 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 which means peace, peace, peace. When you're ready, let's take our breath in to prepare. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.
Shanti Hi Peace in our actions, peace in our words, peace in our thoughts, bringing hands up to third eye center, the thumbs there pressing into the space, and a little gesture of gratitude if it feels right to you. Let's take a bow forward together now. Peace.